All right, so big one, uh, B2B, also known as cross-cloud collaboration. This is something that we've been waiting on for a long time. Uh, we've been talking about it for a very long time. Microsoft has been making progress toward it. Uh, we actually have verified that um, you know that these cross-cloud collaboration scenarios are working. Some of them are not yet supported and are not even in private preview yet. You can see the asterisk there. Um, you know, so we know we've we've been able to test that uh, GCC high tenant to GCC high tenant works for both Teams and SharePoint, and invitations get delivered appropriately, as well as from a commercial tenant. So this is um, this is this is kind of the big news is that uh, the commercial tenant cross cloud collaboration is now working. You see the asterisk there on Teams. Um, that Teams collaboration where you can actually use Teams to Teams client uh, collaboration from commercial to GCC high. Um, we have tested it. It is functional. Um, however, it is not supported and it's not actually even in private in, in a public preview yet. Um, so use that at your own risk uh, because, um, you know, it is not a supported configuration at this point in time. This, this capability is rolling out among all the GCC high tenants right now. Not every tenant may have it yet. Uh, but a large percentage of the tenants do have it. And so uh, by the end of the quarter, actually the end of quarter was yesterday. So, or is, uh, is in a, the, is in, uh, is in a month. Um, it should be completely done. Uh, but we expect that the, the majority of the tenants that we've tested, actually it's already working. So that cross cloud collaboration is available today. Um, now, so a couple of points that we really want to make on this um, one you know, it does require, you know, configuration. Uh, there is configuration that you have to do. The configuration is not super user friendly. For example, um, you're not able to, to set up, um, you know, configuration using the domain names. You actually have to use the tenant IDs. So you have to actually know the tenant IDs, the tenant th that, you're, that you're connecting to, um, sharing with, to be able to set that up. So that's not super user friendly, um, but it does work. Um, and we also were able to confirm that we were able to share outside of the Microsoft ecosystem. So now you can share with Gmail accounts, you can share with Yahoo accounts, et cetera. Um, it sends an OTP, uh, a one-time passcode. Well, and once the user tries to, and it will enforce MFA on that one-time passcode as well. Um, so that once that user tries to use it, they hit that one-time passcode, it's actually going to prompt them to set up MFA um, so that you can maintain your MFA requirements on your tenant. So that's good news. Now, um, see my note down there at the bottom of the slide. Uh, configuring cross cloud collaboration can have significant security and compliance impacts. Ensure you have a well-planned governance and security strategy prior to turning on this capability. The point is, don't just turn it on willy-nilly and say, hey, we've got cross -cl cross cloud collaboration without putting any controls on it, because you may be opening up, especially if you're dealing with things like export control content, ITAR, EAR information. Um, you could be opening yourself up to uh, potential unintended exports uh, by having that content shared outside of your environment and with non-U.S. persons. Uh, so be very careful about how you set this capability up. Uh, so, um, and if you need if you need assistance, uh, please feel free to reach out to your account executive. Um, and we we're, we're getting information. We're in the process right now of putting together uh, some possible solutions uh, solution packages for helping uh, helping our customers configure this if it's needed. Um, so those solution packages are not complete yet because we just have confirmed actually in the last 24 hours that it's working. Uh, so we still have some work to do on those solution packages. So give us a little bit of time uh, to put that together. Uh, but if you do have questions about it, please reach out to your account executives and they will get back to you with information as quickly as they can because they don't yet have the information to give you. Um, so it's a little bit of breaking news, if you will.